In this video you will see how to go from this to this. First things first, let's get this thing off the table because, you know, setting up a tripod on the table, it will be very difficult. So let's get this thing off the table. And we start uh, with the main base of the tripod. You can adjust the height of the legs as desired, but keep in mind that the further you extend the legs, the more unstable your tripod becomes. This is not so much a problem when you are just watching the stars through your uh, telescope, but this will be an issue when you're trying some photography through your telescope. So keep in mind that the further you extend your tripod, the more unstable it becomes. And next up, you can place your accessory tray on the tripod. And while placing your accessory tray, make sure that the holes in the tray are aligned with the holes in your tripod. As you can see, you place the screws from the bottom to the top. Otherwise, the screw heads will be in the way of well, whatever you want to place on your tray. Placing the accessory tray is however not a must, but it helps with stabilizing your tripod. And we found out that it makes operating your telescope a lot easier as you always know where your different oculars are, as we are using the tray for placing our different oculars. So our advice is definitely to use the accessory tray and especially when you're first starting off using your telescope. The next thing in line for the assembly is the head of the tripod where eventually the telescope itself will sit on. Make sure the azimuth adjustment knobs go over the north pin. With these knobs you can polar align your telescope but for now you can just tighten the knobs. After that you can tighten the knob at the bottom of your tripod to ensure that the head of the tripod is properly secured. After placing the head of the tripod it's time to assemble the counter rate rod. Simply twist the white piece onto the rod and mount the rod on your tripod. After mounting the rod, you can mount the counterweights. The amount of counterweights you need depends however on the weight of your telescope. For a very light telescope, maybe one counterweight or even the smaller counterweight is enough. But for our telescope, a 6 inch Newtonian, it is necessary to assemble the small counterweight first and then we have to assemble the larger counterweight. This provides enough counterweight to keep the telescope well balanced. After placing the counterweights, you can screw in the counterweight thumb screw to make sure the counterweights will never fall, even when they somehow slide off the rod. Now that the counterweights are in place, it's time to connect the control knobs on your tripod. Place the control knobs over the gold color pin and tighten it with the supplied screwdriver. With these control knobs, you ensure that you point the telescope exactly at what you want to see in the sky. Finally, place the polarscope cover on the tripod and now your tripod is ready for a telescope. To place the telescope on the tripod, first unscrew these screws. After that, you can place the telescope in the holder and make sure that the mounting plate, in our case the green rod on which the telescope sits, is approximately in the middle before tightening the screws. When you've placed it in the middle, tighten the large screw first and then you tighten the small screw. Tighten these screws very properly as they are the only two things holding the telescope in place. Last but not least, place your finder scope on the telescope and tighten it with the silver screw. Now, head outside and go look at some stars.